Hello everyone. In this video, to see the variable threshold SEMA circuit and multiple threshold SEMA circuit, that is VT SEMAs and MT SEMAs. Here, in that uh, previous video, we discussed about the low power design using voltage scaling. So, voltage scaling is nothing but reduction of supply voltage VDD uh, or by using the less VDD value. So, when you are reducing the supply voltage, the propagation delay will increase. So, that will be is compensated by using the low threshold voltage circuit. So, by using this concept, we have to utilize two kind of techniques. One is variable threshold CMOS, another one is a multiple threshold CMOS. So, in this video, to see both the technologies, so first to see the variable threshold CMOS circuit. So, in this variable threshold CMOS circuit, we have to utilize the low supply voltages as well as low threshold voltage for um, for reducing the low power uh, power dissipation so it is a efficient method for reducing the overall power dissipation as well as it maintaining the high speed performance so here what is the uh, disadvantage what is the um, disadvantage is faced in that variable threshold sema circuit means when you are going to get the threshold voltage of transistor is very less it lead the increased subthreshold leakages that means the subthreshold leakage current will be increasing so it it give it arise the standby power dissipation so to avoid this problem to overcome this problem the threshold voltage of the transistor is can be compensated or uh, changed by using the another one uh, method that is substrate bias so substrate bias is nothing but Yeah, substrate bias is nothing but the voltage between the body as well as the corresponding uh, so uh, substrate uh, substrate as well as the corresponding source or uh, source of the corresponding transistor. So here it relates the the body effect of the transistor. So the body effect of transistor that means gives the relationship between the VT and VSP. So VSP is a the voltage between the substrate as uh, source as well as substrate or body or bulk. So, when you are going to change the substrate VSP, uh, we can be able to change the threshold voltage to avoid the or uh, reduce the subthreshold leakage. Based on that, we can able to reduce the, the corresponding reduce the corresponding um, standby power dissipation. So, in this circuit is so about the uh, inverter, it will be connected to the substrate bias control. Here, here the inverter, the supply voltage is low supply voltage that is VDD is equal to uh, 2 voltage. So, the substrate of both NMOS and PMOS is connected to the substrate bias control circuit. So, this circuit, this uh, substrate bias control circuit is used to change or uh, compensate or change the corresponding uh, voltage between the substrate to VSP. So, based on that, the threshold voltage of both NMOS and PMOS it will be changed. So, due to this, the subthreshold will leakage will be reducing at the same time the start uh, standby power dissipation will be reduced so it is a method here we are using the um, variable uh, uh, substrate bias voltage so it is called as variable threshold sema circuit so in the circuit it is operated in a active mode the substrate bias voltage of nmos transistor vn is equal to 0 here in a active mode uh, the substrate voltage for nmos is 0 and the substrate voltage for pmos is equal to vdd voltage that is equal to 2 voltage in a similar manner for a, it is in a standby mode okay substrate bias control voltage is centered the lowest substrate bias voltage for nmos as well as higher substrate bias voltage for the pmos okay so here for that in a standby mode uh, vbp is equal to 4 voltage and vpn is equal to 2 voltage so, here in a variable threshold SEMA circuit, in VT SEMA circuit, the circuit is operates with low VDD as well as low VT for getting the low power dissipation. At the same time, it getting the high switching speed by the reduction of subthreshold leakage as well as the reduction of standby power dissipation. Okay. 
so with the help of the uh, this uh, circuit uh, substrate bias control circuit so we can able to adjust the substrate bias voltage based on that to compensate the threshold voltages so this approach is called as self adjusting threshold voltage scheme that is called as SATS so it is a very effective method for reducing the sub threshold leakage current or for the controlling of threshold voltage value for the low VDD as well as low VT application. So what is the disadvantage for the circuit means when you are using threshold voltage we are, uh, VTC must circuit we are adding external one um, circuitry that is substrate bias control circuit. So hence the overall chip area will be increased compared to the other technique. So this technique is usually requires twin well or triple well CMOS technology in order to apply the different bias voltages to different parts of the chip. So here this is a block diagram for a typical low power chip with the internal supply voltages generated on chip by DC to DC converter circuit. So in this circuit we have to utilize the VTCMOS technology. So here this internal circuit with low uh, threshold voltage means it is a logic circuit. It is designed with low VT voltage that is low threshold voltage transistor. So the threshold voltage of the transistor can be controlled with threshold voltage control. That means using we have to utilize the VTCMOS circuit to change by changing the the corresponding substrate bias voltage to change the corresponding threshold voltages okay so here you have to utilize the DC to DC voltage converter when you are giving the supply voltages VDD by low power application the voltages supply voltage is reduced by low so it gives VDD low so this is mainly for uh, applicable for low it is applicable for low input uh, it is applicable for the input output circuit and also we are adding the signal uh, signal level converter okay so this is the main application for VTCMOS so with the VTCMOS circuit is it is mainly used for low VDD as well as low VT application so next we move to the multiple threshold SEMA circuit that is empty SEMA circuit. So what is the um, in that empty SEMA circuit by reducing the leakage current by reducing the leakage current we have to utilize the um, two different types of transistor bar fourth NMOS and PMOS with the two different threshold voltages. So in a previous case VTC MOS we are using the another one circuit that is substrate bias control circuit. So that will be gives the overall area is high. So to avoid this we go for the multiple threshold voltage by using two different uh, threshold voltage transistor to the corresponding low voltage uh, low threshold voltage. Mm -hmm circuitry so here in this uh, this is a circuit diagram for the structure of empty CMOS so in this circuit we have to utilize the same uh, say logic circuit with CMOS logic circuit with low VT here it gives uh, operation for low VDD as well as low VT application and we are adding two transistor both NMOS and PMOS so in the po both NMOS and PMOS is operated for the um, standby mode so here we have to eliminate that here PMOS and NMOS is having high, thres high threshold voltage high threshold voltage transistor ok so here So in the active mode the high VT transistor are turned on and the logic circuit is consisting of low VT transistor can operate with the low switching power dissipation and small propagation delay. So in a active mode here the uh, high VT transistor listen in a active mode these two transistor is off condition. So here the CMOS logic is operated in the and the corresponding um, low VT as well as low VDD application so it gives the low switching power as well as the small propagation delay so in a standby mode here high VT transistor is turned off and the connection path of the sub threshold leakage current may uh, originate from the internal low VT circuit or effectively off so in a standby mode here this circuit is 
in a standby mode here nt n mass transistor is going to off condition so it will be yes the path the logic of the cmos logic circuit is will be cut from the corresponding ground so we have to eliminate that uh, sub threshold leakages so we have to reduce the standby power dissipation so this circuit is gives the example of T latch using the empty CMOS circuit. So here this is a circuitry for a CMOS uh, T latch. So in above and below we have to utilize the uh, both PMOS and NMOS for uh, the corresponding high uh, threshold voltage uh, PMOS and NMOS transistor for preventing the data in a standby mode. So, in a empty CMA circuit is conceptually easier compared to the VT CMA circuit. Here in VT CMA circuit by using, when you are using the uh, substrate bias control, so the overall chip area will be increased compared to the empty CMA. So, and also it does not require the twin well or triple well CMOS process. So, the only significant process related to the empty CMOS circuit is the fabrication of the mass transistor with different threshold voltages on the same chip. So, what is the disadvantage for empty CMOS means? In that uh, multiple threshold CMOS circuit, we are adding two different voltages in that um, above and below of the corresponding circuitry. So, that uh, PMOS and NMOS having the having the high high threshold voltages so that is a uh, so based on that the area will be somewhat increasing and also the capacitance parasitic capacitance is also increased compared to the vt cmos so here here this vt cmos and empty cmos circuits are the very effective in the designing of low power and low voltage logic circuit uh, but it uh, it may not be a universal solution for the low power cmos logic design so uh, for rectifying this problem we go for the architectural approach so that will be seen in the next video thank you